The hit TV show The Office went off the air in 2013, and it remains one of the most beloved comedy series to date. The cast has moved on to bigger and better things while rolling in the cash. Let's see how The Office cast spends their millions. Steve Carell is no doubt the most famous actor to come out of The Office, and his origin story is fascinating. He initially thought he was going to be a lawyer, but when he was filling out his law school application, he was taken aback by the question, why do you want to be a lawyer? Steve realized that wasn't his dream. Then he became a mailman while living in Massachusetts. Eventually, he moved to Chicago and joined the improv group Second City, and it's all uphill from there. Playing the role of Michael Scott was truly Steve's breakout role, and now he is one of the most beloved actors in Hollywood. He definitely has the paycheck to prove it, too. When he announced he was leaving the office, Steve couldn't leave his fellow castmates empty-handed. He gifted the entire cast a Rolex watch on his last day of filming. What a generous guy! With a net worth of nearly $80 million at the time this video was produced, he can definitely afford it. When Steve isn't spending his money on Rolex watches, he's also buying property. In 2009, he bought Mansfield General Store in Mansfield, Massachusetts. This is where Steve and his family spend their summers as well. Well, Steve bought the property so that it would stay in business. You can guess that this means he owns property both in Los Angeles and Massachusetts. In 2009, Steve bought a $19 million mansion in Toluca Lake, which is a very affluent neighborhood in Los Angeles. They bought the land for $6 million, flattened it, then built a new Cape Cod-style home that is over 16,000 square feet with five bedrooms and eight bathrooms. The basement alone is over 5,000 square feet. The house also has an elevator, a mudroom, a study, a den, a tennis court, basketball court, and an outdoor pool. Finally, the house also has a double garage with its own elevator too since he loves his cars. John Krasinski has had the most interesting transition from The Office to mainstream Hollywood. A lot of actors tend to get typecast into a certain role after being on a hit comedy, but John managed to forge his own path as a serious, dramatic actor. But it wasn't always smooth sailing. Back in 2000, he was an intern as a scriptwriter for the show Late Night with Conan O'Brien. After he graduated from Brown University, he moved to New York City to become an actor. He had a few commercials under his belt and even an off-Broadway credit, but Jim Halpert was truly his breakout role. But it almost didn't happen. When he was auditioning for The Office, there's a guy sitting in front of John and asks him if he's nervous. John says, you know, not really. You either get these things or you don't. He went on to say that he was nervous about the show because he loved the British show so much that he was worried about an American version ruining it all. Turns out the guy John was talking to was the producer, Greg Daniels. Oops. But today, John is living off his success from The Office and is even married to Emily Blunt. He too has a net worth of about $80 million. In 2016, they paid $6 million for a four-story Brooklyn townhouse with seven bedrooms. They ended up selling the home in 2018. They also own a home in Hollywood Hills that they bought for $8 million. It has panoramic views with floor-to-ceiling windows that's truly breathtaking. John also owns a $15.3 million home in Brooklyn that takes up the entire eighth floor. But these days, John and Emily are living in London. Rain Wilson is unforgettable as Dwight Schrute in The Office. You could say that it's one of his most iconic roles. He truly took on that character just as seriously as if he were playing a character from Shakespeare. Rain is quite the educated man. He got his BFA in acting from the University of Washington and then got into NYU's MFA acting program at Tisch School of the Arts. Imagine getting a master's degree and then moving on to play Dwight Schrute. Today, he has a net worth of about $14 million at the time this video was produced and is spending his millions on real estate and even a farm. In 2005, the same year when he started working on The Office, Rain purchased a small farm for about $1.2 million, not too uncommon from his on-screen persona. The farm is located in Agora Hills, which is about 35 miles from Los Angeles and a short drive from Malibu. It has a 3,300 square foot farmhouse with three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. In 2020, he listed it for sale for about $1.7 million. In 2020, he and his wife Holly Reinhorn bought a Spanish-style hacienda home. The home is so gorgeous that it even made Architectural Digest. Rain also owns a 1920s Mediterranean cottage in Seattle that he bought in 2010 for around $500,000. While he's not spending as much money on houses as his office co-stars, he's definitely splurging on cars. It seems like he owns a BMW i3, which is quite a nice little car. Maybe, just maybe, the rest of that is going towards student loans, since he has two degrees. You're dead. Ed 
Helms is an interesting person to unwrap. He played the role of Andy Bernard in The Office and then went on to have much success with the Hangover movie franchise. While his role on The Office wasn't terribly huge, it still gave him the building blocks to have a successful film career. At the time of making this video, he has a net worth of about $25 million. That's quite a lot. He thinks The Hangover has a lot to do with that. Ed comes from quite a turbulent life. At the age of 14, he had to have open-heart surgery to correct a congenital heart defect. Even though he shared such a private thing to the public, he's still pretty closed off when it comes to his personal life. Like, we know he's married, but there's no information on a wife, let alone kids. Why the big mystery? There's not a lot of information on what he's spending his money on. We know he lives in Los Angeles. According to public records, he purchased a home in 2007 for $1.24 million. It's a little over 1,500 square feet with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Given the housing market in Los Angeles, this isn't something remarkable. So the big mystery is, what is Ed spending his millions on? Take a guess in the comments. Jenna Fisher stole the hearts of millions around the world with her portrayal of the lovable Pam Beasley in The Office. People all over the world were rooting for Jim and Pam and wanted them to get together so badly. There's no doubt that Jenna came out as one of the more famous cast members from the show. Today, she's hosting an Office podcast, much to the delight of fans. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Jenna's net worth is around $14 million. These days, it seems like Jenna is relaxing a bit and having more fun living off of her Office legacy. But how is she spending her money? In 2009, she bought a nice place in Studio City for about $1.83 million. This home is Moroccan style with a courtyard and a fountain, which must have given Jenna a space for much needed tranquility. She ended up selling the home in 2013 for a little over $2 million. The home itself is about 3,490 square feet with two fireplaces, a butler's pantry, four bedrooms, and four bathrooms. Oh yeah, and a three-car garage. Then, in 2012, Jenna bought a property in Glendale, California for about $1.9 million. The Mediterranean-style home is about 4,600 square feet and sits on about an acre with a swimming pool, an orchard, and a tennis court. The house has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, a sitting room, a living room, and a formal foyer. Jenna definitely did some upgrading. Mindy Kaling was more than just an actress who played Kelly Kapoor in The Office. She also served as a writer, producer, and director of the show. She was quite busy and extremely invested in the project and has achieved so much success. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Mindy has a net worth of about $35 million at the time this video was produced. She was also making about $150,000 per episode of The Office. That's more than most people's annual salaries. In March 2020, Mindy paid about $9.5 million for Frank Sinatra's Malibu home. Before that, she owned two properties, one in Hollywood Hills that she sold for $1.61 million in 2017, and then she sold her 1920s Spanish-style home in Beverly Grove a year later. Her new Malibu home is right along the ocean. The house has seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms with an outdoor terrace next to the master suite. Of course, there's a pool and a patio looking over the ocean. The home is about 5,824 square feet in size. So we can safely assume that Mindy is spending her millions on beautiful real estate. She's also spending her money on diamonds. Who can blame her? They're definitely a girl's best friend. Did you know that John Krasinski almost got the part of Dwight instead? Luckily, he convinced the producers to read for the part of Jim. Could you even imagine how different the show would be? Who is your favorite character on The Office? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other amazing videos on The Richest. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.